Hey everybody, this is Chris from the Samaria Software team, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your Paladin Pro Drive. So we've had a couple customers in the past who have been interested in updating their Paladin Pro, but they didn't exactly know how to go about it. So we figured it'd be a little bit easier to answer it in a video, so here we are shooting one. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is figure out which version of Paladin that you're trying to update. So whether that be Paladin LTS, or how it is now referred to as Carbon Paladin, um, Paladin Edge 64, or Paladin Edge 32. So once you figure that out, uh, you can go ahead and head over to our website and navigate to our shop page over here with this drop down right here. After that, go ahead and select on the Paladin brands and you'll be presented with these three options. Paladin Edge 32, 64, and Paladin LTS. So once you decide which version you're trying to update, go ahead and select it or select the version from the shop page and follow the purchasing process to completion and you will be emailed a download link or you'll be able to access your downloads through your account. So if you go over to my account after you've logged in and select it, you'll be sent to the my account dashboard and if you select the downloads button right here in the center, you'll be presented with uh, whichever versions of Paladin uh, or whichever products that you have tied to your account. And go ahead and select the text over on the right right here to navigate to the download link. Now, after you've downloaded your version of Paladin, uh, you can get to updating it. So Paladin Edge 64 and Edge 32 are actually really easy to update. Really, all you have to do is select the ISO, so just grab it once it's been downloaded, and drop it over in your Paladin drive. It's as easy as that. Uh, you'll be asked whether or not you want to replace the Paladin Edge 64 ISO that's already there, and just go ahead and hit replace so that you can replace your version. And you can do the same thing with Paladin Edge. So just drag and drop it and replace the one that's there, and you'll update the version that you're running on your Paladin Pro. LTS is a little bit more complicated, which is why we thought it would be a little bit easier to cover it in a video format. So it'll be downloaded in a zip file format. So go ahead and unzip it either on Mac OS, where you can just double click it, or on Windows using something like 7-Zip or WinRAR. After that, you can go ahead and expand it, and you'll have these options right here. So you'll have the Carbon Paladin ISO and your Paladin Pro update guide. So the Carbon Paladin ISO, just go ahead and drag and drop that over and uh, either replace the one that's there or if you this is your first time updating since Carbon Paladin have been merged, then this window will not appear and you will have to delete the Paladin underscore 7 ISO that is currently on your Paladin. Uh, I, for instance, have updated my Paladin since we have, so I have the uh, window right here that appeared, so I would have go, went ahead and hit replace. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to have to do is you will need to update the grub that is currently on your Paladin drive, and th this only needs to be done once. So updating the grub only needs to be done if you haven't updated to a version of Carbon Paladin yet. So what you'll do is locate the grub config file under the Paladin Pro update guide, and open up your Paladin and expand this boot folder right here. So under the boot folder is a folder called grub. So you're going to grab this grub config file and you're going to drop it over in the grub folder and replace the one that's there. And then you're going to grab the grub again and drop it in this folder that says i386-pc and replace the one that's there. And finally, you're going to do the same thing with x86-64EFI and drop it in there and replace the one that's there. At this point, your Paladin Pro is fully updated, running the newest version, and has the uh, correct grub configuration, so you shouldn't be running into any issues when you're booting. So if you guys have any other questions or concerns about updating your Paladin Pro or just any general inquiries, then feel free to reach out to a member of our team and we'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.